A lot of people want to start their journey in art, but they don't know where to start and what medium to use. In this case, probably you want to know whether 3D modeling is easier than 2D drawing. Before we dive into the topic, if you want to learn more about how to draw and design cool looking robots and mechas in Photoshop and Blender, you can take a look at this training that goes through the basics and all the necessary knowledge step by step. Eric, the instructor of this course, has been working on projects for the entertainment industry for years now. He also teaches interior design and industrial design at university. This training will start with definitions of what you will need to learn, then you will jump into creating mecha silhouettes using Photoshop. In the next chapter, you will learn how to add line art to define the edges, and make your design more pronounced and make it stand out. After that, you will go through the process of creating a technical view from the front and side, and this is extremely important for the next step, which is 3D modeling in Blender. This allows you to create a 3D model of your mecha and then take it to paint over and composite it in Photoshop. If you are interested in this training, you will find the necessary links in the description. 2D art requires art fundamentals. As you might or might not know, drawing is not something you can get right from the first attempts or even dozen attempts. It is a trial and error process. That's why you need to train your eyes to observe certain things and your hands to move a certain way, which allows you to achieve good results. In order to do this faster in 2D or 3D, you just need to learn the fundamentals of art. But this is way more important in 2D mediums because you only have to use your senses to get good at it. The fundamentals we are talking about include mastering form to get the overall shapes and forms looking good, and perspective to be able to make environments and shapes look believable, especially from a distance. You also must learn about value, color and composition to be able to realize something beautiful with bright colors and shading that can bring your art to life. 3D has a lot of tools. On the other hand, using 3D brings with it many tools that allow you to automate the processes and do many things with much less effort compared to drawing and painting. For example, you can get 3D shapes to look perfectly correct without learning anything about perspective because the 3D software does that for you. This is one of the things that many beginners struggle with when drawing, and even professionals need to train a lot to pay attention to make sure that all parts of their drawing look coherent from the same angle. That's why you see concept artists who create 2D drawings and paintings illustrating ideas using 3D software, to make sure that form and perspective are taken care of before they start painting in a 2D software such as Photoshop. Also one of the best things about using a 3D software is being able to light and render your characters and environments using fantastic tools called render engines. So after adding lights, you will see everything lit properly if you know how to do it right. This is very hard to do using 2D drawing and painting software using oil paint or colored pencils, and this is especially true for beginners. Just to make things clear, I said that lighting using a 3D software is easier, but not a piece of cake, because when you need to light certain scenes using a particular type of lighting or atmosphere, you need technical skills. And this takes us to the next point. 3D is more technical. If the difficulty of drawing is learning how to tame your eyes and hands, in addition to learning the fundamentals through practice and repetition, then one of the hardest things in 3D is how technical it is. This can put off a lot of people, because they don't know where to start, what to click, so on and so forth. But once you get used to it, through learning from experienced artists and instructors, you will be able to gain control over valuable tools that will allow you to create anything you want fast with perfect accuracy. 3D is harder if all the pipeline is included. If we compare creating 2D art versus creating 3D models that are not organic, I would say 3D modeling is kind of easier due to the reasons I mentioned before. But I would say they can be as equally hard if we need to create realistic organic stuff such as characters, animals, and creatures. For example, creating perfect anatomy is hard in 3D because it requires knowledge. And in many ways, it is similar to drawing because it doesn't rely too much on tools, as much as it relies on your ability to create every single muscle, wrinkle, and everything else on the body to make it look believable. Also, creating realistically looking skin is one of the toughest jobs to pull as a 3D modeler, because it usually requires advanced knowledge of shading and how to use texturing software. If you know drawing, 3D is gonna be easier. If you have a background as a 2D artist, 
and you have been drawing for many years, especially if you are proficient at it, you will be more likely to succeed as a 3D artist because, first of all, you most likely have a solid grip over the fundamentals such as form, color, composition, and so on, which will help a lot. This is the case because a lot of great 3D artists came to 3D after they were drawing as kids or even as young adults. But just to make it clear, there are some 3D artists who can draw even if their life depended on it. So being good at drawing is not necessary to learn 3D. Also, since you are familiar with art, it will be easier for you to stick around and learn more because 3D modeling is a lot of fun. It's magical, especially at the beginning and when you start learning new techniques. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.